So we're gonna finish up the barbell clinic. We've learned how to squat, how to press, how to deadlift. The fourth and last thing we're gonna learn today is how to bench press. Now everybody does it in some capacity. Let's learn how to do this right today. So with Gabby's help again, I'm gonna have her lie down on the bench. And the first thing I'm gonna have her do is place her eye gaze on the downside of the barbell. Go ahead, put your eyes right, go a little forward, good. And the reason for this is simple. When we unrack the barbell, I wanna make sure that we clear the J hook so that she can bench freely but it's not so far away that I can't help her bring it back in. If she brings her head too far back and unracks it, at some point, inevitably, she's gonna bench and she's gonna smack that bar into the bottom of the hooks, which is gonna mess up the set. So, with her eye gaze set correctly, feet about shoulder width apart is pretty good. No, not quite so wide. Good. Now I'm gonna have Gabby take a grip on the barbell that's about one hand width wider than her press grip that we did earlier. Go ahead and take your hand on the grip on the barbell. Slide it out about a hand width wider and the grip is exactly the same as a press. She's gonna pronate those thumbs down to put the bar directly on the bones of form. Good, grab the barbell, nice straight wrists. Now take a big breath. With locked elbows, I'm gonna help her guide it out and bring it over the shoulder joints. Take a big breath, up and out and just kinda of hang out there for a second. Now she'll notice, as you will, that the barbell's in balance over the shoulder joint. It's not if we put it forward of the joint or behind. Right here, it's in balance. What I want her to do is take a look at a point on the ceiling behind the barbells. The barbell's in view, but it's not in focus. So she has a picture of the ceiling and the barbell in her periphery. Now, bring her chest up as big as she can by squeezing her shoulder blades down and lifting her chest exactly like that. I'm gonna use my phone to illustrate. I want Gabby to touch the highest point she can manage a couple inches, two, three inches below the glenohumeral joint which is the shoulder joint. I want to take a big breath, touch the point we just talked about, put it back to the top. Good. Take a big breath. Make contact, drive it back up, lock your elbows. Good, set a five, big breath. Contact, drive back my way, good. Two to go. Lock it up, good. Shoulders down, one more, big chest. Now when the set is complete, I'm gonna help her guide that barbell back with locked elbows into the hooks. Now the reason why those locked elbows are so important is because this is the only exercise that's inherently dangerous in the gym. For this split second when you unrack and you put it away, the barbell is floating over the face and your throat. We don't wanna ever do this with bent elbows. So locked elbows out, locked elbows in for safety. Important to note is the position of Gabby's elbows at the bottom of the bench. They should be again like the press, just slightly in front of the barbell to facilitate that drive back. Now you'll notice when she benches, go ahead and do a rep for me. Touch the middle of the chest, back to the shoulder joint and up. Good, again, mid chest and drive back. You'll notice that the bar path is not vertical and this is intentional. A vertical bar path would bring the bar down by Gabby's neck and throat area and would also beat up and impinge the shoulders. Now we're trying to save our shoulders so we're intentionally bringing the bar by a little bit lower down in the chest so we can accommodate the position of the scapula that are pinched and held together on the bench. One more, and kind of hang out and pause at the bottom. Pause, good. She's got vertical forearms and the elbows are just slightly in front of the barbell, which is gonna facilitate her driving it back over the shoulder joint. Go ahead, drive it back to the joint. Up one more time. Bring it down, make contact, elbows just a little bit in front. Drive it back to the shoulder joint. Now to create the most efficient bar path we can and to restore some verticality to the barbell, not only will Gabby squeeze her chest up, but she's also gonna try and arch her back, pull it tight as much as she can to make sure her butt is still in contact with the bench to try to really get that chest up. So she's thinking big arch in the low back. This will vary from person to person, of course, but we're trying to get as much as we can manage to get the chest as close to barbell as we can. Go ahead and bench a couple reps, big arch in the back, touch. Lock it out, two more. Drive it back up to the shoulders, last one. Up, lock it, good. 